Hello there, this is Nellis Geek, and let me tell you, you're in your home, uh, you have uh, your Netflix on, and you say, oh, dude, I really want to see a horror movie, right? And um, you try to um, you browse to the catalog, and you see a lot of movies that are interesting. But you're not looking for something interesting or different, you're looking for something uh, much more basic and formulaic and enjoyable. And here comes Eli. Eli is Netflix original, and it's really your basic bits uh, horror movie. It's a supernatural horror movie. It's about a family, about a child that is allergic to the open air. He lives in a bubble, and he has to go out in a hazmat suit. And his parents take him to a house, an old house, where a doctor will perform uh, an experimental therapy on him. And while he's there, he's seeing ghosts that um, screw with him. So the, this boy, this unfortunate boy who has this condition that uh, is genetic and makes his autoimmune system uh, attack everything, has to go through a very dangerous procedure, has to find out the truth. If these ghosts are um, hallucination because of the medication and his parents are not sure about what's happening, or... Um, if there is there are ghosts and if those ghosts want to kill him or if they want to save him uh, one of the early uh, scenes is where he's uh, breathing on a glass so uh, there is some um, moisture on it and on this moisture cloud he writes Eli and the ghost uh, changes it to lie and you know there's more wordplay with the, his name and this movie is basic. This movie is everything you should, you would expect from a movie like that. There are um, loud noises. There are um, ghosts appear in uh, reflections and then disappear. Uh, there are some jump scares. There are always uh, more questions popping up. So you just want to see a little more so you get answers. There is this uh, drama with a child being in danger, the parents uh, being confused. Uh, they don't know what to do, they don't know how to feel. Um, there is this question if the treatment is safe or not, or if there's a sinister plot happening. Um, it's very basic, it's well made, uh, and um, it, hits, it hits every trope that um, supernatural movies like, um, I don't know, The Conjuring or um, Insidious do very well. There are all those tropes in there. Of course, there is a twist at the end, which you may love or hate, depending on how you feel about it. But to the movie's uh, defense, this twist is done very well. It's very well foreshadowed. In the back of my head, I was like, oh, imagine if this is happening. And it happened, and it's not super obvious. Are you... There are hints about it, but they're not obvious. And I know how I feel about the twist ending, but I had fun in seeing this movie. And considering that in my uh, 13 horror movies, Halloween Silence, I have some very interesting films and very different and uh, original films. I really needed a basic film. And I think that it's definitely the Netflix movie you see, the movie where you want to see something um, that won't challenge you, that you would be fun. Uh, it's a Netflix and Chills movie. Yes. <laughs> you don't want to, to know some of my day movies, really. <laughs> Uh, yes, <laughs> they're kind of notorious. It's that, it's nothing extraordinary, it's not a classic. It's a movie that is very well made, but it's also totally skippable, in my opinion. But it's fun, if you're Netflix uh, and you're in the mood for a horror movie that would be fun, that would be 90 minutes of predictable uh, but well made uh, supernatural horror, watch it. Eli was great for that. Yes, I know, people will say, no, it's one of the same, it's from your like, blah, blah, blah. yes, it is, that's the point. It's a, it's a movie that is made to be consumed. It's not art, it's not, um, it's not supposed to, to have ticket sales, it's just there for you to watch. Because it's Netflix, it's, uh, it's part of the package, so why not? Go for it, it's fun. And there, there are much better movies in horror movies Netflix, I know that. But it doesn't make a point, it's a great 
movie to have fun with uh, your friends or your significant other on your own, whatever, it's good. And it's a total recommend for me if you are really in the mood for basic horror, especially uh, considering that uh, most of the Conjuring uh, franchise movies that it pretty much emulates in a way are far worse than that. So, um, if you have seen a light that came out on Netflix, please leave a comment. I love to read your opinions. And um, if you like more horror movie reviews, there will be some more on the next days because I have to uh, do the reviews for the rest of my 30 movies to Halloween challenge. I'm running a little late, I guess. I'll uh, batch record some and then edit them and um, maybe um, put up two reviews per day. And if you're interested in seeing more reviews, uh, please, you can subscribe. And thank you for watching. Stay spooky.